Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Wednesday, it's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern. I see we've got Margaret, we've got Elaine, uh, we've got another friend, we've got Rhonda, I've got jewelry. And, and if everyone wants to just take a moment and laugh at me right before I was ready to go live, I knocked the camera over, which is why I'm a minute late. So I apologize for that. Uh, sometimes things just get knocked over. <laughs> so that's the kind of day that I'm having. How are you all doing? Oh, I'm so excited to be here. It is Wednesday night. It is the best night of the evening. I see we have Anne here. We've got all kinds of friends here. I'm so glad and excited to see so many of you. And I'm super excited to have you all here. I'm actually going to raise the camera up just a little bit so I can see you all a little bit better so that you can see me a little bit better. So I'm sorry if we're wiggling a little bit. There we go. That's the beauty of having a, uh, a standing desk. I'm not sure if I need to go up or go down. I feel like we're at a different level tonight. So I'm sorry if we're, <laughs> you waited all day. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I waited all day too today. Today was a day where I felt like I did nothing but ride around in the car all day. That's better. It turned out that we needed to go down. We didn't need to go up. So hi, everybody. How are you? Happy Wednesday. If it is the first time that you are joining us, thank you so much for being here. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday. It is the best night of the week. And I am here with all kinds of treasures uh, from our latest collection, which was the Boho Chic and Beachy Beauties collection. And boy, there were some really outstanding, fabulous pieces this week. And you know, on a typical Jewelry Party Wednesday, I have two trays. Oh, see now, uh, Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is getting the dog and the door is cracking. There's all kinds of things going on here. It is definitely a summer Wednesday night here in Homer Glen. Uh, but in any case, normally I have uh, two trays of jewelry and this collection was such a hit that it is down to one. So uh, kudos to all of you, congratulations. It's a fabulous collection. Many of you already scored amazing pieces uh, earlier uh, this week and they are all packed up with lots of love and headed off to new homes. But there's lots of awesome pieces that are still available and that uh, we're gonna talk about tonight. So as always, I wanna welcome all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm starting off the evening with one of my favorite pieces. Uh, so we are starting off with this Accessa Craft necklace and I have on a little sort of eyelid style blouse today from Nanette Lepore. It's kind of a chartreuse green color. This is a color that I like to wear a lot because it looks really nice in summer. But it's even though it's a chartreuse color, I think a lot of people sometimes feel like, ooh, it's actually a really easy color to mix with different kinds of tones to be able to get different kinds of looks and it's very complementary to a lot of different styles and colors of jewelry. So what I do love about this particular color is this is a great one to be able to dress up and dress down when you're wearing jeans, or you can put this with black or navy and have it look really nice too. You can also uh, make it really pop and do different things and you can wear it with like hot pink and some crimson colors and things like that as well. So even though it is a shade that some people would not necessarily wear, it's actually a very easy one to be able to wear and enjoy with the jewelry. So I'm starting off this evening right away because we have two outstanding necklaces and as you know I always like to start the beginning of the evening kind of showing off my favorites and I can't believe that these are still here so we have got this awesome gold necklace which was the multi-strand necklace with the uh, little bit of the trinity style with the one two three uh, with the teardrops kind of that spiraling styling with a vintage hobe and then we have this a vintage accessa craft piece uh, that features the mythological creature in the middle of it as well now you know i'm always a huge fan of figural jewelry but this is a really great piece for those of you who like to wear classic colors as you can see this pops really really nice against a color so whether you're wearing something that's like a green or an orange or a yellow or a classic black or a denim uh, the milk glass style lucite bead always looks great and this is an example of how that this just one little pendant can really kind of set your look apart from the rest 
If there's one thing that I would want all of you who are tuning in tonight to take away with each of you is that I want you to remember that a singular piece of jewelry can really elevate your look and make a big difference in how you look and feel that day. And so it's really fun to source these unique treasures that you cannot find any place else uh, because they really are unique in design and style and composition and they're not like anything else you're gonna find anywhere else. So if you're new to collecting, welcome. If you are a longtime collector, you already know what's special about all of these pieces. And so you can sit back and relax and enjoy because I'm sure you're going to learn something new as well as have a piece or a style that has piqued your interest. Now, I hope it is okay for me to mention this week that the lovely Elaine, who is in our group, asked a little bit about the piece that I'm holding here because I'm going to start the evening this week. Also, love giving you a little bit of history behind different things. You know, there were quite a few people in here who said to me, I would have never even guessed that it was Hobey because back then I didn't really know the difference between the names. So this is kind of the interesting thing about learning about vintage jewelry now. What we know about vintage jewelry now and the types of the ways that these designers were very popular, many of them were designed out on the East Coast uh, in the Newport, Rhode Island area, which at one point was the jewelry capital of the world. And it was located there because it was close enough to New York City to work with the big design houses that were here in the US. But besides that, something that I really want to impress upon people when they're learning about vintage jewelry and especially about the designers is that there are really so many different levels of interest that you can learn about related to the amount of energy and effort and design that went into these companies that made these pieces and how and why they designed them. I love pointing out this piece and it was super fun. We had over at one point on Saturday when I had talked about this vintage Hobe piece, there were over 52 people who had guessed. Uh, and nobody had guessed Hobey. And I'm not saying that to call anyone out that, oh my gosh, who didn't know it was Hobey? I want to tell you when I picked it up, it felt like, it looked like, uh, and everything about it was characteristic of a late 1960s vintage crown trafari piece. So there's two interesting things related to vintage jewelry that if you start looking in some of the research books or you're just interested in beginning to get to know a little bit more, these designers all kind of took obviously examples from what other people were doing. Certain designers, just like even today, have very signature styles or they might have things a different way, but we definitely see that throughout the decades that some of the most well-known and reputable vintage jewelry designers um, from the 1940s on really watched what other companies were doing. So it's interesting to see the way that this piece is very much influenced the way that the Crown Shafari and Monet pieces and Napier pieces have even would have been of that sort of era. Maybe one of the people who are even designers who help design pieces maybe even worked for one of those other jewelry houses at a different time. Who knows? But those are some of the fun things that you learn uh, as you see the way that you can identify different pieces by the era and the dates that they came from and then the different designs and workmanship. Now, I know I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent with this one, but the other thing that I really wanted to mention about it that's super fun is this piece is very different than the other Hobey pieces that we get. If you look in the history books and you look in the collector's books and everything, you're going to see a very different kind of Hobey that is being represented in terms of quality and design and what they were known, which makes this piece kind of like a wild card. So it's super fun to be able to bring it into the Vintage Meat Modern collection. I'd love to see one of you take it into your personal collection. So now let's talk about a little bit about how easy it is to wear. So I'm starting off the evening as always with a couple of my favorite pieces. This is that fabulous accessor craft piece. I always love anything that has mythological creatures. I love anything uh, that you can so easily be able to wear uh, just with like a little black top. And this one definitely fits the bill. Uh, sorry if it's got a little bit of a white feedback to it and everything. The etching on this one is a little bit kind of like a tile. So it has actually a little bit of a whitewashed finish underneath the gold relief print. Up next, we do have that absolutely 
fabulous piece. So this one is the Monet one. Uh, hard for me not to absolutely just love and adore this because I just think that this is just the coolest piece. Uh, I love anything that sort of has that sexy sort of 1960s mid-century modern design. I mean, I like all the classic rhinestone pieces too, but I like something that also, remember the camera is always a different direction when I use this camera. So I always have to make sure that I'm lined up right. I love any piece that is going to naturally give you a line that is going to help elongate you and help you look and feel your best. So this is a great piece because it is going to be naturally uh, a little bit more flattering. It's going to be flattering on a number of different body types. You can make it as sexy and as fun as you want by wearing it with a deep V or you can wear it with a higher neck like I have on today and wear it on top. So it's a really easy piece to be able to mix and match. Now, this piece has also got a lot of other really great things going for it, besides the fact that it's not your typical hobe. Uh, it has this awesome flat link chain, which actually reminds me of a book chain, like a Victorian book chain. So it's an interesting choice, but I think that it was chosen with the composition because it lays flat against the neck, which makes it uh, the workmanship and the design much more flattering because it lays very comfortably against you. Uh, the next thing that I love about it is, is it's a very rich and elegant gold tone. So if you're looking for pieces to mix with your own fine jewelry, like if you've got like your own classic little gold hoops, uh, if you've got your own classic gold bangles, if you've got gold rings, this would be a great piece to be able to mix with your fine jewelry. Uh, it's also one of those sort of signature summer style pieces. You know, in the summer, we do tend to like to wear things that are a little bit simpler, cleaner. This one also has like that little modernist, you know, artistic quality to it. It's got the nice sort of circular design going by. It's got the geometric presence to it. So it's another really great piece to really make that classic kind of couture styling that so many of us love. The other thing is when you hold it, and this is what I'm going to say, again, you're not here holding it. And I want to thank Deborah Morgan, who did earlier today, who said, wow, the pieces I received are even prettier in person. Not only does that make us feel better here behind the scenes, not better, but not only does that make us feel good here behind the scenes, when I tell you that when I touch something and you can tell and feel the quality of it, you can. You can. It's very different than the quality of the pieces that we pick up today. That's not saying that you can't mix your designer pieces or the pieces that you pick up when you go to Talbots or anything because, you know, jewelry girls are jewelry girls. We like mixing it all together. And I know there's plenty of other people who are on here who do too. I know that Michelle's here, Ron is here. Um, and if I'm not calling you out specifically, uh, don't worry about that. I love to get to know everybody's names and I love getting to hear your stories too. We had some great ones too this week. So this whole bay piece is just absolutely fantastic. Someone grab it while you can. All right, up next. So I do want to show you, we've got a really lovely thermoset piece too. So we've got a nice moon glow piece that is on the silver. This one is not signed and this one is set in the silver tone. It has a J-hook closure on it. Uh, and as always, you know, what's nice about the J-hook closures is, is that if you want to use an extender and make it longer, you certainly can. There are certainly plenty of pieces here at Vintage Meat Modern that I lengthen myself uh, with my own extenders because I like to wear things longer. But I wore this that naturally has more of a warmer tone to it. But as you can see, you can easily be able to mix this cool toned necklace with warmer tones and it's going to bring out more of the blue. If you put this more with a black or if you put this with different shades of gray, you're going to see more of a silvery tone to it and less of that powder blue reflection. I have to say, this year, one particular style of jewelry has been very hot, which has been Moon Glow jewelry. Uh, Moon Glow has been very popular here at Vintage Meat Modern. We started talking about it a few months ago uh, when I worked with an estate back out in uh, the Elmhurst area in which the collector had a lot of different kinds of beads, everything from Bakelite to Moon Glow. But I think that one of the things that people also really love about Moon Glow is that it's really, really, really easy to wear again in the summer. It has that pearlescent finish to it uh, without being your traditional pearl. So we've got the thermoset bracelet, 
we have the thermoset necklace. Uh, both of these are traditional 1950s. Uh, and this was actually part of, and this is what I mean, pieces just kind of come full circle here at Vintage Meat Modern. Uh, this piece is part of the thermoset group that we had with the moon glow pieces back when we worked with that estate. But this actually goes perfectly with the necklace and the bracelet that I have on. So for those of you who like being able to put all of your collections together, you got it. This is a great piece in order to be able to do that. Uh, you can mix the same rectangular shapes that you have. Uh, and these are screw backs. So you can also adjust the tension and they're a nice size. They're not too big. They're not too small. They'll definitely show up in your hair. Uh, and you can always wear them with the matching necklace without it being too much. So another great, beautiful pieces that we've got. We've got the bracelet, we have the necklace, and we have the matching earrings. So really fabulous, really fun pieces. And I'm so glad and excited that everybody loved this collection. So, you know, I, that's really kudos to you. You all have fantastic taste. It's more about you than it is about us, but we do love to give you what you want. So it's very exciting for us to be able to help you find the perfect pieces to complete your look. And I hope I've said this um, from the get go. I, you know, I'm a very busy mom to three. I also have elderly parents. Uh, I also like to do a lot in the community. And I also like to do a lot of styling appointments and I am not getting to do as many as I usually get to do because of coronavirus. But I do like to remind people that, you know, whether you work from home, speaking of coronavirus and everything going on, or whether you're just beginning to venture out again, remember, all of these things are so easy to be able to wear with what you actually have hanging in your closet. There isn't one piece that we won't put into this collection that you can't be able to wear with jeans and a tee or with a power suit if you have to dress up for business, or if you wear dresses every day, or if you're a busy mom too. So, oh, thank you, I'm glad. I'm gonna show those copper earrings coming up shortly. The other pair, because the spirals are off to you. So this is that dainty little silver wire work necklace that we have. Another request that we get in the summer is for daintier pieces or pieces that you can layer up, especially when you love that sort of bohemian chic style. Uh, so for those of you who like being able to layer this little dainty little flower necklace is really fabulous. It's an easy one to be able to wear. And let me go ahead and see if you'll give me just a moment here. I hope I don't cut myself off. I will go ahead. This is one of those ones where we got to take a little bit of a closer look at it so that you can kind of see the detailing on it. It's a great piece to mix with other silver pieces. Uh, it's also very reasonably priced. It's $65. You get lots of wear out of it. Uh, for and uh, something that you can definitely, again, be able to mix and match with your other fine jewelry. So this is the little silver flower wire work necklace. Uh, it's 16 inches and it has a little J hook on the back of it. It's another one that could easily be lengthened by using an extender. It's about a quarter inch wide and it's a very lightweight. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to be able to just fill the neckline of whatever you have on with it. Uh, and it's just got the most beautiful little details. As you can see, they're just little tiny silver wire worked flowers all together. Uh, just very, very nice design and something that's very timeless. And again, you can make this as dressy as you want, or you can definitely be able to make this very bohemian style as well too. This is another great piece to just layer up with other pieces. So I do, I'm a huge fan of this one. And speaking of that, let me go ahead and see, uh, and I'm looking to see, to see, I think my chain wandered off from this one. Uh, speaking of silver pieces, give me just one second and I go to the drawer. This is that sodalite piece that we have that's really cool. This is a nice large piece and we have a sterling chain it's actually a Mexican sterling chain that's got little beads on it. And for those of you who like being able to layer up pieces, you can see. 
it's got it. here we go my here we go it's time for me to have my anxiety attack on camera about what getting the necklace stuck in my hair for those of you who like being able to layer pieces oh Rhonda says that the excessive craft necklace is hers you will love it you will enjoy it and you will wear it with a lot of other pieces uh, as well as be able to put it with other classic gold and milk glass as well too this is the sodalite pendant if you like being able to layer with pieces this piece of sodalite is an awesome piece uh, i have again i can't believe what the size of it uh, that we still have this one it's also set with a sterling silver bail and the other cool thing about it is, is the bail opens very easily also so this is a piece that you can easily mix and match on other pieces this is actually not pearls these are little Mexican sterling silver beads and this pendant actually opens and another thing that I like about this particular pendant so if you're not familiar with sodalite another thing that's really cool about it is is that it is very similar to lapis except lapis tends to have gold run through it this does have like a very very like very light gold with it, but it has more of a silver that is running through it than a gold. So this is another awesome piece. It's a super fun one. Uh, as you can see, again, when I talk about how that you can mix colors like this, like this looks great with navy. You can see we've got some cream and some taupe in the background. This is a good one to put with that. Uh, this would actually be really pretty against like a lavender as well too. Remember, sometimes it's nice to go to the color that is next to it on the color wheel uh, rather than a complementary color or a color that's across from it too. So this is a cool piece. It's huge, as you can see. It's a nice larger piece. It's a solid colored stone. Uh, and for those of you who are gem or your stone collectors, this one has lots and lots of interesting veining and striation going through it. So so it's definitely a captivating piece. If you are a blue-eyed girl, this one will really bring out your blue eyes. Uh, and it also has kind of a little bit of a mystical quality to it. Uh, my daughter said when she looked at it that it reminds her a bit of a night sky and a galaxy. So for those of you who like being able to look at pieces and see different kinds of stylings to them and kind of also sort of have an artistic impression, whether you think things look like clouds or the sky or water or things like that, this piece definitely has the ability to get your imagination going as well too. So lots of fun things. Uh, it's a nice large piece again in terms of design and size. Uh, and it also has that veil that opens, uh, which makes it very easy to take it on and off whatever kind of chain you're putting it on. I always think that that's a benefit when those pieces are designed so that you don't have to stress over getting them on at the same time. And so it's very easy to clip on and off. Great piece, girls, and $65 too. It's a real, real steal again. Another one that's like just too good to pass up, especially for a genuine gemstone necklace. All right, up next, as long as we have got our pieces where we're talking about silver, uh, we've got some other cool silver pieces as well. Uh, these are actually marked down. They're on sale. We have a pair of vintage crown shafari earrings. Uh, crown shafari with the crown over the T. So these would have been late 50s, early 60s. They didn't change the logo uh, until very, very early 70s. So that's when they switched to the script style. It just said shafari and they dropped the crown. So we've got these earrings, which are awesome. These have got the sterling with the faux turquoise in the center. Super fun one. Another one that's really easy to be able to wear with other turquoise pieces or to be able to wear with a silver necklace like we have on with the wire work one. Another great piece. Let's see what else that we have here. Uh, you can also be able to mix and match this. I'm very careful. There we go. There we go. Like I said, it's like I always have to tell myself, remain calm. You'll get it off and everybody will be patient. Nobody will laugh at you. So, and I had my, my today was a good day too. Today we wrote a, a quote, you know, be your own kind of beautiful. We've been really trying to encourage everyone lately to be able to definitely be able to embrace where you are right now in your life and appreciate your beauty as it is because there is no time like the present i had an opportunity to do a podcast recently and that was the same thing that i was talking about with that guest as i'm holding up this diane von furstenberg is like don't wait for the good stuff 
So speaking of that, we've got an awesome, long, as you can see, a multi-strand chain necklace from the very famous style icon, uh, Diane von Furstenberg. This one is a graduated style chain and it has different kinds of beads on it. This is an authentic necklace from her from the 1960s, 1970s era. She only did jewelry in the 1970s. She started her own jewelry collection again with actually David Webb and a fine jeweler. And then she also did some other pieces back in 2000, but her vintage pieces in terms of signatures and design, she only did jewelry for a very short period when she was designing her wrap dresses in the 1970s uh, before she just stopped doing accessories. She did keep her perfume that she named after her daughter though. So this is, the multi-strand. I like this one because it's cool because it can go with gold, silver, copper, all of the metals above. Uh, it's also super long. So for those of you who like wearing tunics and shift drops and things like that, this is a super long piece. But as you can see, I've also successfully doubled it up so that I can wear it. You can easily wear it with both gold and silver. Uh, and it's just a really fun designer piece and it's lightweight. I always like things that kind of have like a unique mixed media style to it. And again, I like a piece that is something that you can wear a lot over over in the summer. And you can also wear it with your other metal pieces too. So this is definitely another fun find that we have. And I'm going to try to not get it stuck on me and be able to pull it off again. All right. Moving on to some more beautiful turquoise. I love this color also with turquoise. And we've got two. We had another cool charm bracelet, but thank you. That one is often sold to a new home. This one, we have got this little triple beaded uh, with the wood beads. And they also have just a teeny tiny little bit of a gold splatter on them. These are the turquoise beads that we have. And then we also have this awesome mid-century modern charm bracelet that goes with it. So the mid-century modern charm bracelet that we have has got the same wood beads that you see in the earrings. Uh, and it also has got some awesome charms on it. And the charms have genuine little mother of pearl tucked into the shell. So there's like a little shell here. Uh, there's like a little sort of design that kind of has like a little spiral shape to it. There is a little starfish. Uh, there's a different type of shell, but there's all kinds of little fun charms that are dangling on this fun and awesome charm bracelet. I'll see if I can help you take a closer look at this one so that you can see all the different charms that are with it because it's a super fun piece. This one is a nice, this one we're calling it our little sea inspired bracelet. It's also one that has just a ton of style and design. Here we go. So this is our vintage chunky bead sea inspired charm bracelet. It has got, as you can see, the starfish and it also has got the little shells that are, and then it's got the little accents of the mother of pearl, plus it has the gold beads. It features a fold over clasp. Uh, it is a seven inch, oh, it does, it features a spring ring clasp, I'm sorry. Uh, it features a seven inch and it's just another big, large, funky one. Now the little blue beads that you see, they do have a little bit of wear on them. They're wood beads, uh, but they're a turquoise color. And for those of you who do like anything that's kind of beachy or nautical style, this is a perfect one to be able to just wear with a white tank and maybe some linen pants or maybe the opposite, maybe a linen blouse and a pair of sort of black or white capris. This is just a perfect piece to complete your summer look. This would also look really super cute with just like black pants and a tunic and then actually even some like little leopard print sandals. Lots of different things that you could do with this one. Uh, super fun one, definitely one of my favorite pieces. And I also like that if you don't wanna do the wood bead earrings with them, we also have a pair of awesome vintage Kenneth J. Lane earrings that go weight with it perfectly as well too. 
all of these little fun sort of beachy. And the vintage Kenneth J. Lane earrings are actually also on the cover of his book, Faking It. Uh, so again, for those of you who like collecting pieces and knowing who the designers are, uh, as you can see, the little shell earrings are awesome. So these are great, uh, nice size, nice scale. I love that you can do either the wood earring or you can do the classic earring with it. And speaking of that, if you are not a charm bracelet person, these earrings are just absolutely fantastic. Uh, so for those of you who are looking for a higher end earring that you want to wear all summer long, this is a really great pair. They have just the right amount of crystal uh, with the classic gold. They're well balanced, very comfortable, very easy to wear. Uh, and I love anything that is always Mr. Kenneth J. Lane. You know he's my good buddy. Well, I wish he was my good buddy. But in terms of collecting, he was the designer that really got me into collecting and what was so special about vintage designer jewelry and vintage American costume jewelry. And he just has such an incredible legacy of being an American designer. He's had pieces worn by all of our famous first ladies. Uh, and he's just has great pieces. And his book is fabulous too. So if you haven't picked up his book, it's great. There's some really classic and some fun stories in there about him as well. As long as I am talking about the earrings, we also have an awesome vintage Swarovski uh, little gold shell. So this one is the gold shell and it is with the little swan signature. It's a 1980s piece and it's a singular little pendant. So this is one that you can either wear on your own, just kind of just dangling, or you can layer it up with other pieces. Uh, it's a very heavy 18 karat gold plate. This is solid. Uh, unlike, you know, when we talk about charms, and again, when I talk about how you put the jewelry on and the, the pieces from the vintage collection just feel very different than the pieces that you buy now when you're out and about, and that's what I mean. So this piece feels very solid. It's a weighty style piece. Uh, it's got beautiful pave set crystals in it, uh, and it's just got really, really nice design. Again, you could wear it with a pair of matching earrings or you could wear it on its own. Uh, the quality of the Swarovski pieces, the plating lasts forever as well as the Diamante crystals. There's no dark ones at all. You could easily mix this with your fine jewelry and your diamonds as well, too. And for those of you who like being able to kind of mix and match pieces with each other, uh, I'm kind of surprised. I think that I know that this is probably a piece that I know Anne is on here. Anne was our very first person. We have so many people tuning in tonight. It's so awesome. But I do want to call Anne out. Anne was the very first person that when I started doing this show three years ago would be the only person watching sometime. And I did always tell myself, I would always say, like, as long as one person showed up, I would continue doing the show. And so I think everybody should give Anne a big round of applause because she would religiously turn in. She would always say hello. She would always say hello to Mr. Michael. I'm not saying that all of you don't, but she is still, you know, I can always just remember the very first person that tuned in for everything. And it was always Anne. So I cannot thank you enough for being with me. Speaking of that, um, if you haven't shared our show tonight, we would really, really appreciate it. Small businesses really getting to be able to connect with all of you every week like this, it means more than you know, and getting to reach more people means more than you know as well too. So even if you're just here to learn about vintage jewelry or you're here to see the uh, collection, everything, please tag a friend, share the video, let people know we exist. Uh, really means more to us than you know behind the scenes. And we're always working hard to bring you incredible vintage jewelry. So, so I do have this very nice Swarovski pendant. And then I also have it layered up here with a sterling silver piece of abalone. Uh, the abalone is a really neat sort of piece with a cut to it. And it does have all of the different shades of iridescence to it. And it is set with a sterling silver bail. Uh, it's actually an antique, it's an older piece. It doesn't appear to be an older piece, but it is. Uh, it actually came from a collector that collected Victorian style pieces. And the person who gave it to me said that their mother had had it forever. So, and that collection was like 65, 75, 80, even pieces going back 90 years. So super, super fun piece. We've got the abalone on it. And I will say this, anybody who buys the abalone piece tonight, I will gift you the chain. 
because I put a chain on it uh, and the chain connected to the bale up at the top and I'm not gonna take it off. So that's my gift to you if anybody picks this piece this evening. But I do love these earrings, girls. Does it come on that chain? It does if you buy it tonight. I'm not taking it off. <laughs> I, I, like, you never know here at Vintage Meat Modern. We love to spoil everybody. Whenever we can, we always do. Okay, another piece that I absolutely love. I love this little pinwheel style floral design. Uh, it has got the most beautiful little navettes tucked into it and then these little squares. Uh, with the little tiny uh, prong set stones or little sets and groups of nine. And I love this color because it's just this really beautiful, vibrant sapphire blue. And as you can see, it's got lots of vibrant color. You can see the different shades of it flashing light to dark. Uh, I also always love a piece that's really easy to be able to wear in the summer. And I do like this piece because you can also wear it with other classic rhinestone pieces as well. So and you can totally wear a piece like this in the summer uh, and have it fit really well. Like it goes really nice even here against the little eyelet blouse. So this is the little pin. Uh, I can't believe that this brooch is still here too, but that just means, as I say, the perfect piece always goes to the perfect person. So hopefully tonight someone will go ahead and will add it to their collection. Uh, I like it because it's lightweight and it's easy to be able to wear, especially during our summer months. It also goes really pretty with a pair of my favorite earrings we have. I always like everything that has a little bit of movement to it. Probably because my children never stop moving. But no, it's fun to have something that moves with you. And I saw this great video today of Jane Mansfield dancing and she has on a pair of signer earrings uh, which were not vintage at the time. They were actually from Signer and they were moving with her at the same time. And I just thought it was the coolest and the funnest thing. So I do like anything that has kind of a little bit of a, like a waterfall or a cha-cha to it. So these earrings go so nicely with this sweet little brooch with the sapphire blue. And I love the little design on it because again, it's lightweight. You can definitely wear it against your summer pieces and especially your lighter short sleeve sweaters or blouses. Uh, but it's one that you'll be able to be able to transition and wear with other people pieces in the fall and the winter as well, too. So and the earrings are just fun. Rhinestone earrings are always great. You know, I mean, they're really fun, really easy. Uh, one of the things I love about this particular pair is that they're screw backs. So for those of you who are new to wearing clips or you don't like wearing clips, you know, the screw backs always a nice alternative because you can adjust the tension and make them as comfortable, as loose or as tight as you want them to. So I love these earrings. I love this brooch. More favorites. Uh, just so many great pieces this week. We got a couple more and then we're winding down here because like I said, this piece had over 50 pieces in it and they just flew out of here. I know. So we all have our favorites and this week definitely was a hit. People just loved it. So I'm really glad we were able to find pieces that you all love. Okay, up next, copper. We had such awesome copper pieces. So copper pieces are fun because they really are indicative of that mid-century modern movement, especially when we see the difference between the early 50s designs of jewelry and fashion and then how things changed in the late 50s and through the mid-60s. We certainly see a lot of uh, different designs with different kinds of materials and things. Remember when we start out in the 50s, we start out with a lot of things with rhinestones and little pave set things and aurora borealis crystals. And then by the late 60s or the late 50s, early 60s, we start seeing the transition of people doing things that are a little bit more artistic in design and style. And certainly that became very popular then when we had the introduction of different kinds of metals. So we mentioned Renoir uh, and Matisse. They also were copper artists and they are probably the most famous ones from the mid-century modern era. Uh, we had a great bracelet that was signed by him and that one's off to a new home. And then we had a fabulous pair of spiral earrings that are off to a new home. But we do have a cool pair of copper earrings that feature the little fleur de lis design. And they also have a little bit of a hammered finish on it. Uh, and these are cool and great for summer too. Especially for somebody who has lighter hair than me, these would really pop against you. And it'd also be really beautiful on someone who is a ginger or a redhead. So great 
style, great design. Uh, I like the fleur-de-lis accents. We've got people who collect things with fleur-de-lis and with French accents on them. Uh, these are also a screw back. So again, you can make them as comfortable as you want. Uh, they are lightweight and they're perfect for summer. They're perfect for summer. Another great, great pair. All right, we also had some really cool squash blossom necklaces. If you checked out my blog post this week, I showed some awesome pictures of uh, Cher in the 1970s wearing squash blossoms all layered up. Certainly she was very iconic with her style with wearing them. Uh, we had a petite necklace that was an Emmons, but we also have an ART bracelet and we also have a pair of ART earrings. We had these pieces several years ago and they never hang around for long. So as you can see, we had the necklace that sold and it sold the night that we had it out. Uh, these are great to wear very nicely all summer long and year round. And you can also mix them with your fine jewelry and your fine turquoise and your real Southwestern and Native American pieces as well too. So this one is the bracelet. It does have a pair of matching earrings that are available. I love being able again to put it with this color, but this of course also looks great with white. I had it with white the other day when I wore it. Uh, it looks great with black and you can of course wear it with coral and different shades of red too. So it's just your very traditional styling with the squash blossom style design. Uh, we've got the bracelet and then we've got the matching earrings uh, and they're fun and just easy to wear. And you can either wear them together or apart. Alrighty, we have got like two more pieces and then we're really, oh, three. We also have got a petite a pair of rutilated quartz, uh, pearl and turquoise earrings. Uh, these are a little pierced pair. This is another great pair to be able to mix with other pearl jewelry as well as with other turquoise jewelry. So even if you see the way you can pull out the turquoise with the squash blossom bracelet. That is a great piece that we have. Uh, I love the mother of pearl disc necklace that we have. It's another great one to be able to layer up with other pieces. And I like that it's got the nice little geometric design that's in between the two of it. It's got a screw together clasp. So you gotta be careful so you don't get it caught in your hair because otherwise that hurts pretty badly. Uh, this one's got like the little gold links in between with the pearl. This is another real easy to wear piece. This one pops really, really beautifully against your classic black. And the mother of pearl, of course, is very traditional and it does have a nice warm glow, which is just perfect. And you can dress this one up as much as you want. And then you can also make this one as bohemian chic and layer this one up and dress it down too. Another great piece to be able to wear with jeans. And we have also got, you know, another thing that I wanted to tell you is that it really does make me really happy here. This piece, this collection had a lot of red, white, and blue pieces in it, and a lot of them sold. So it's really fun to know that so many of these pieces will also be part of your Independence Day celebrations, whether you're sitting at home and watching the fireworks uh, on TV or live streaming. I heard a lot of people are doing that. So that's a super fun idea. Or if you're getting together and maybe seeing some family or friends and doing a smaller gathering, you will still have some beautiful patriotic pieces to wear uh, during this time of year. And those classic red, white, and blue pieces always are in style. Okay, up next, this is a newer to us vintage, but these are also an awesome pair of Rachel Zoe. So this is a Rachel Zoe earring. It is on the cusp of being vintage, but they're a door knocker style and they feature a carnelian in the center uh, and a sort of hanging like that door knocker style. And it's so popular here. And they are just a most beautiful design. They also go really nice with other carnelian pieces. I don't normally add pieces like this to the collection when they're just on that cusp, but they are really great and they're also signed. So I love when we can be able to offer you some of these signed pieces because when it's right on the cusp of it, you will then someday be able to get to enjoy them. Uh, lots of life left and very easy to be able to wear those beauties. So speaking of red, white, and blue, dun, 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 I can't believe it. 
Wow, we are, this is how popular this collection was. It is only 816. We are normally here for a lot longer showing off pieces. Uh, but you also have been very quiet tonight. I want to know how everybody's day is doing and how everyone is doing out there in the world and everything. Uh, and I certainly love being able to see all the pieces that you are wearing. So this is our petite rhinestone red, white, and blue American flag brooch. As you can see, it's really easy to be able to wear. We get lots of questions about how to wear brooches. Some of you are brooch wearers. Some of you just like to look at the brooches, but you feel intimidated wearing them. But I'm telling you, this one is a really easy one to wear. I have it just pinned right on top of my blouse. Like I said, my blouse is from Nanette Lepore. It was from Nordstrom. Uh, it has got a little bit of spandex in it. It's got eyelet in it. Uh, it has a little bit of an A-line. It's very flattering, um, easy to wear. And so I'm telling you again, all of the pieces that we have are all authentic vintage, but they can all easily be worn with what you actually wear out and about in your everyday life uh, to really elevate your look and to help you look and feel your best. You're happy that it's Wednesday. I'm happy that it's Wednesday too. I'm very happy that it's Wednesday. There's all kinds of amazing things to celebrate. Uh, Michelle, or I, don't know, was, uh, I think this is Michelle who says, I finished a fellowship application today and I'm tracking down some primary documents for a dissertation and trying to deal with the two family members who have COVID-19. Things are at sixes and sevens here. I completely understand. My granddaughter said, Grandma, Nana, you are a little clumsy today. Oh, lots on the kitchen floor. Were you here when I said I knocked over the camera right before I went live? Don't worry, I am also very clumsy today. Uh, it's been just kind of a clumsy week, I think. So uh, you, you definitely get kudos for that, but congratulations on spending time with your granddaughter. That's the most important part of the day. Uh, finishing a fellowship application, that's also super important. Sherry's happy that it's Wednesday. I'm happy it's Wednesday because Wednesday's my favorite night of the week because I get to be here all with you and I get to talk about jewelry. Uh, let's see, Mr. Michael is very excited. They're gonna start playing baseball again mid-July. Uh, Rhonda says it's nasty and rainy, so the jewelry party cheers me up. It does, but if it's nasty and it's rainy, you have a chance to actually maybe play in your jewelry box a little bit longer. So um, that's also a fun thing we have going on as well. So that's awesome. We have lots of fun and awesome things going on. And I love being able to connect with each and every single one of you. Uh, and I love being able to share all of these different treasures too. Thank you so much for inviting me into your homes and into your lives uh, and getting to share my joy of jewelry with all of you too. I do love, uh, Margaret is baking her husband's birthday cake. Guess what? Mr. Vintage Meet Modern's birthday is on Saturday too. So we'll be very baking a birthday cake around here as well. And I wish him a very happy birthday. Husbands are obviously very important, special people. So I hope that he has a really, really great birthday. We, of course, always make Mr. Vintage Meat Modern's birthday cake look like a baseball. So it's one of those few designs that I can always do, little licorice whips. So we've got the flag pin. Uh, we also, the other captain's wheel that we had, uh, it sold. So we had a blue necklace. We do have the red one. So this one is a great piece. This one's another fun kind of little preppy brooch that we have. Another real easy one to be able to wear off to the shoulder or off to the side. This is also another super fun one to be able to mix and match uh, with your jean jacket too. So looks really, really good also with classic white denim also. So for those of you who wear a lot of white denim or white chinos or white just in summer, this is another fun one. Uh, this is the captain's wheel with the red. So we've got that piece. Uh, we also, we've got that awesome. So speaking of pieces that are a unique and a little bit of fun history and things. So this is the sterling silver and trillion cut blue CZ bracelet from Suzanne Summers. This one is another one of my absolute favorite pieces. I love trillion cuts on anything, but for those of you who have never ever seen the jo the Suzanne Summers pieces, they're actually very collectible. So many years ago, I worked with an estate that had them in every single color and I found a collector and she bought every single one. Yep, I owe that one from years ago. It's a great piece and it does 
have the look of real. It really does. You know, when they used to say it has the look of real, it really does have the look of real. It's a fabulous one. And we'll close out the evening this evening with we've got a very pretty pair of cat's eye glass sterling silver earrings that are set in a door knocker style. This is a really, really beautiful pair. Uh, and it's got a very light sort of iridescent blue color. Uh, if you liked the pieces that were from the Moon Glow collection earlier, these are glass. These are not lucite. This is lucite. But if you do like that sort of misty sort of blue color, this has got a really, really pretty one. And these are a nice size and shape. They are also a screw back. So they're very easy to be able to wear. So that's it. We have got a ton of beautiful pieces. Uh, and I also want to take a moment now to let you know that we have something special going on tomorrow night. So we have our workshop on jewelry care and storage, which is a topic that a lot of people ask about. So we, that is actually a paid workshop. It is $19. The reason why it's a paid workshop is, is because we give you a lot of resources, uh, including some links to be able to, um, make your life just a lot easier. And that's what I love to remind people that part of the fun of getting to be part of the jewelry care and storage workshop is that we're going to give you some real things that you can actually do to organize your collection. And it's also going to be talking about how that you can care for your collection as well too in between wearing it. The top question that I always get asked here is how to clean your pieces. And I don't like to just be able to just say, this is how you do it because cleaning vintage jewelry is different than cleaning other kinds of jewelry. You have to take into account the stones. You have to take into account the glue with the pearls. You have to take into account the metal finish. Uh, so I do have some products and things like that that I recommend that I will be giving out the links tomorrow if you go ahead and you purchase the workshop. Uh, last time we had, I think, 12 ladies join us live and it was a ton of fun. I think everybody can agree the after party was as much fun as the little workshop in the beginning. But I also want to let you know that I will also be giving you the resources for the things that we use to store the jewelry as well, too, and some creative solutions as well. Uh, I have worked with, in all of my years, many esteemed collectors, uh, and I have seen jewelry collections displayed many different ways in which people can also appreciate them when they're not wearing them. Because many of us either have mementos or have things that really mean the world to us uh, that we enjoy getting to be able to wear. But when we're not wearing them, we want to protect them. But it's also nice to be able to have them still be part of our life as well. I've also worked with people when it comes to jewelry care and storage and organization, people who have literally have thousands of pieces and they've had to be cataloged. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you need to do that, but if there are some things that you want to have organized, uh, there are some ways that I can give you some really great tips and give you some visual suggestions. Uh, these are clients that I've actually worked with. These are professional organizers that I've actually worked with. And so they may get your wheels turning on some ways that you can either display your collection and or store it. And then of course, last but not least, storing your collection also involves being able to store it in a way which you can easily pick out pieces when you're on the go or when you wanna plan your outfits in advance. So I've been looking for a 19th century shadow box that opens. You know, I can believe it. And, you know, recently I saw somebody who did turn not a ninth, something along the lines of a 19th century, but I did see somebody turn an antique table um, with a flip top into something to store their jewelry. And I thought that that was a very creative way. But there's lots of creative ways. Um, there's also some really practical ways. It doesn't really matter if you have one piece or you have a thousand pieces. We'd love to be able to have you join us. That way we also have time to answer your questions as well too. But I do promise it will be a lot of fun. And of course, it's always my highlight getting to be able to hang out with all of you as well. So that's it. That is our show for this evening. We have lots of fabulous pieces. If you've never shopped with us before, please go ahead and head on over to Vintage Meet Modern. We do want you to check on out on the website because it's secure for your own security and privacy. Uh, but everything here is also real. 
Uh, everything you see is authentic, one of a kind vintage. It can't be sourced easily from any place else. Uh, and we're always trying to source the absolute best treasures so that you can have something that helps you elevate your look and also look and feel your best while being distinctive too, because great style never takes a holiday. So I do see we have Jennifer who's joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad to see you this evening. I hope that you liked the collection as well, too. Uh, and if you have any questions about anything, do not hesitate to ask. That's, of course, what we are here for. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing those of you who have purchased the Jewelry Care and Storage Workshop. I will be looking forward to seeing you on Zoom tomorrow night at 730. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned. Stay tuned, not tonight, but I would be watching your inboxes and I would be following along on social because VMM has got some awesome and some other fun things that are coming up in the very near future. So, and we do not disappoint here. So, so everyone have a fabulous evening. Thank you so much. Head on over to VMM, take a look at what's new. Thank you so much all for joining us. Rhonda says, great show. Jennifer says, hello. Margaret says, thanks, Veronica. I know we said we pulled the winner for this week's card. Oh my gosh, no, we did not. Uh, but I do want to let you know that I actually had to generate the winner in advance earlier tonight because we had that um we had everybody enter last week by a number and i had to pull you by your number and so i just wanted to let the winner know and i know who she is she is actually on here but our 25 dollar winner this week is Margaret Rollo, you were the one that was put in the magic generator. So you do get a $25 gift card to Vintage Meat Modern. Uh, and you can go ahead and you can email us at help at vintagemeatmodern.com. And you were the lucky person who put your number in and it popped out in the random generator. So that is who we have as our winner this week. So I want to thank you all so much for hopping on. We don't have a giveaway this week uh, because we have something else fun that is planned and is coming up. Uh, so please do not hesitate to uh, reach out to us if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you all again real soon. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.